There are a hundred different ways to learn how to code. Which one is the best one? Today, we'll find out. As someone who wants to learn how to code, you see a lot of different opportunities out there. And today, we're going to look at the three main ones. University, Bootcamp and Fortitude. We're going to talk to three different people who have made their experiences with each of those models and they're going to answer some of the questions that you might also have trying to make the best decision for you. Hi, my name is Fatima. I'm 23 years old. I'm a 42 student in Berlin and I'm also a student in university. I'm studying uh, technical informatic embedded system. Then I did a bootcamp two years ago in data science and now I've been working since then in the field. Uh, I did my PC in at 42 Paris in 2016 and then spent uh, roughly three, four years studying there before moving to Berlin uh, to become head of pedagogy here at 42 Berlin. In order to be able to study in university, you need to be graduated from high school and to have a C certificate of language. Basically anyone. You just need to have motivation and time. 42 is open to absolutely everybody. The only condition is you need to be 18 years old. What do you need to get in? First, you have to pass your abitur, and then you have, it depends on the university, but you have to have a certain average uh, of grades so you can attend a specific university that you wish. You will do some interviews, actually, one interview. They might ask you to do a test, but this test is really easy. It's just to check that you have some interest in the topic. In order to get into 42 Berlin, uh, there's three main steps. So the first step is the online games that you'll play. They're quite good fun. They take about two hours to do roughly. And once you've done these games, you then get invited to do 8PC. It's a four week long selection test and it's designed to be a selection, not just for the school, but also for yourself to understand if 42 is made for you or not. And how expensive is it? So university costs about 500 euro per semester. It's actually quite expensive. For a duration of two to three months, you pay 10 to 12,000 euros for the bootcamp, but generally no one pays for this. In my bootcamp, only one person paid for it themselves. It's the Agentur für Arbeit, so the German agency for unemployment that sponsors it. 42 is completely free. There's nothing to pay. You don't need to build a school shine. Uh, you don't need to pay anything back. There's no loans involved. It's completely free to study at 42. How long does it take to graduate? It takes almost four years to graduate from universities. It takes two to three months to graduate from a bootcamp. It can take up to five years to graduate from 42 if you want to gain skills up to a master's level. How much time do you need to devote to it? You need uh, four days in a week uh, to be present in university. So during those two to three months that you do the bootcamp, it's actually super intense, so you should devote full time, uh, even weekends and evenings. But it's very, 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 very tiring for three months. 42 is designed as a full time course. This means that you would be coming in on a regular basis. However, we are open 24 seven, uh, seven days a week, every day of the year. We're never closed. So it's designed to fit your own schedule. There's some students who might have a part time job. They have families kids, uh, holidays, all of this. And we don't tell you how many hours to come in per week. Can you do it remotely? Unfortunately, you can't. You have to be present in university. No, I don't think you can do the bootcamp remotely that I'm aware of. 42 is designed to be done on site because this is where the learning happens. And this works best when you're sitting next to your players. So every time you're stuck, you can ask the person to your left. If they don't know, you ask the person to your right, behind you, in front of you, etc and it's really on the campus that the learning happens. If you were to want to work remotely for a week, that's totally fine, but all the projects uh, are submitted and evaluated on campus. How do you learn? In university, I do my research by myself, like all my colleagues do. So it's project-based learning, but with quite traditional way of doing it. So that means that there's a teacher that will sit in front of the class, they will give a lecture, and then we practice alone uh, and do this, the project. At 42, you uh, get a project, so it's a problem to solve. And you're then left uh, with your own means to solve this problem. It's not necessarily about the answer, but how you get to the answer. It's very, very practical. Uh, you have to come up with your own solution. We won't necessarily tell you what the best solution is, uh, but it's down to you to discuss with your peers uh, how to get the best solution possible for the problem that you've been posed. 
What do you learn other than the hard skills? At university, uh, I don't uh, learn anything uh, like above uh, hard skills. Even hard skills, I learn it by myself. <laughs> Honestly, uh, other than hard skills, you don't learn much more. This is really the focus of a bootcamp. Hard skills are very important at 42, uh, but they're only just a tiny part of it uh, when you think about it. Soft skills, learning how to work in teams, learning how to communicate about your codes, is actually one of the most important things that you will be learning here. You spend a lot of your time exchanging with other students, uh, reading other students' code, trying to understand abstractions in different ways. And these are the kind of skills that are essential for working in the company, being able to bridge that gap between a business need and a technical solution. And 42 students are able to do that very well. There's nobody who's going to tell you what to do. There's nobody who's going to tell you when to study or where to go. So it's really down to you to find that inner motivation and that inner organization to get you through the curriculum. And this is a great life skill to have for everybody who wants to become a software engineer, an entrepreneur, a builder, a maker. What do you get when you graduate? When I graduate university, I will get my bachelor degree. When you graduate, you get a certificate that you've done this bootcamp and they also write down what you've studied in there. When you graduate from 42, uh, you will get a certification that you've completed the curriculum. Uh, but what's most essential is that you actually have the skills to get whatever kind of job that you want. When you want to get hired as a software engineer today, uh, most people won't look at your degree, they won't look at your certifications. They'll be giving you a coding interview and you will have the skills to be able to complete that coding interview. What kind of jobs can you apply to after? Once I graduate, I can apply for uh, junior level jobs for IT. After the bootcamp, you can apply to any junior positions that are related to the bootcamp you did, or potentially also internships. But uh, I think you can also get some, maybe a more mid-level position if you can relate it to the job experience that you've had in the past. At 42, you have a lot of breadth in what you learn. So this means you also have a lot of opportunities and a lot of doors that open mm. for you. If you complete the first part of the curriculum, you will have roughly the level of a junior software engineer. If you get all the way to the end and complete the, the master's level curriculum, then you might be a mid-level to senior software engineer in terms of knowledge, but just without the experience. If you decide to specialize in a path, you can clearly get a, a job in a specialized domain such as cybersecurity or AI. But there's lots of people as well who build their own companies or who work on annex jobs, uh, such as working as a product manager or working with UX. Um, so it's really very, very open to everything. What kind of support do you get from the school with finding a job? I don't get any support from my university while finding a job. The bootcamp will help you. Uh, they have career services to find a job, so they will help you. But it's limited and my experience is that you really have to go all in by yourself, putting all your code on GitHub, uh, applying to a lot of positions. Again, it's just a three months program. So it gives you fundamentals for a lot of things, uh, but it's of course not enough to just have people ask you to come work for them. But it's definitely possible to get a job. At 42, uh, you have quite a lot of support with finding a job. So during the curriculum, you're going to have workshops on how to build your CV, how to build a portfolio. Uh, but more importantly, we do also have partner companies that work with us and that want to hire our students. So if you want to go and work at one of the partner companies, uh, we can obviously facilitate uh, that conversation. Uh, but if you don't want to work with one of our partner companies, then there's also hundreds of companies who will be posting on our job boards and who will be trying to recruit 42 students for years to come. There are so many different answers to the best coding education, and we really hope that this video helped you find yours. If you're looking for a free, comprehensive, collaboration-focused programming journey, then hopefully we will see you soon on our campus. You know what to do to subscribe for more content. You don't know that next week we will talk about 42 community. Stay tuned.